Relief pitcher for the Cardinals, Diegos, is running in to the game. You can see that he's got a little shiny spot on his hat there. The umpire saw it. Joe West, the crew chief, says, hey, can you take the hat off? He says, my hat? Why? He says, oh, that spot, it's just the rosin over there, and then the sunscreen on my arm, and then when I touch both, I touch my hat, it leaves a mark, and Joe West says, okay, yeah, but can you just take it off and put on a new one because we don't want anyone getting mad at you for it? And they're like, well, you're you seem like the only one being mad right now. Schilt comes out and he's like about to give him his hat. And then he yells at Joe West and Joe West says, get out of here. And Schilt's like, now he's now Schilt gets on his soapbox because this is such a big problem in baseball. And he's saying, don't do that to this kid. There's no reason to do that to him. There's guys that are doing much worse. That's the problem. It's the guys digging into their hands, throwing wiffle ball shit. Those are the guys you got to worry about. Not this dude who's got sunscreen and rosin touching his hat. And so he gives him uh, a near full. He's mad. And Joe West is kind of like, dude, I set the record. Oh, and Giegos gets a new hat there. And you can see him say, it's fucking stupid. And then he puts the new hat on his head. It fits perfectly. So good job. Whoever had the replacement hat ready to go. Catcher hands that to the, that person. Ump says, come here, little boy. Come here. Yep, going to need you. Take this hat. Guard it with your goddamn life. Says, oh, my God, that's intense. They go and lock it in the umpire room as evidence. Did it affect the rest of the inning for Diego's? No. Struck out Abreu, and then he strikes out your mean Nice pitch. Nicer pitch. Yeah. Don't think it affected him there. That is nasty. Now, Joe West actually talked to the media and gave answers, which is good. A lot of umpires don't do that. They asked who initiated the investigation. He said that second base umpire saw it. And rather than it become a confrontation, rather than allow Tony La Russa or whoever to yell, they're like, let's just have him change hat. That way there's nothing bad going on. That's basically the gist of what he says. And then they say, why was he not ejected? And he said, well, we didn't want to put him in jeopardy we did it as a defensive mechanism for everybody we want the players to play the game we don't want anybody to be accused of cheating or any of that stuff so it's smarter just to remove the cap than let him pitch and have somebody come out and complain which is fair enough i guess the bigger issue is that there's a bigger issue at hand and that's what Schilt was upset about this is baseball's dirty little secret and it's the wrong time in the wrong arena to expose it so Schilt ain't wrong. This is the early stages of something very big that's going to be a loud story, and I guess this is the start of it. We've been trying to cover it as best we can on our podcast, Talking Baseball. We've done a lot of conversations about it, but the general public doesn't seem to care because for years and years and years, batters have told fans it's okay if pitchers use some stuff to get a better grip. We'd rather them have control over the ball than hit us. And there's a difference between grip and spin, and that's the big thing right now. Having grip on the ball, having their hands like tack and feel good, batters don't really care. But what they're doing now is they're helping with spin. They're literally gluing their fingertips to the ball so that their fingertips stay on as long as possible to get that final spin. That's... That's the new thing. That's what people are upset about. It's not grip, it's spin. Did you have some sunscreen? Does he use rosin to help out? Possibly. Are these things that baseball really wants to crack down on? No, it's not. I know that completely firsthand from the commissioner's office. Sunscreen and rosin is absurdly sticky. And you're telling me why well, I can't protect my body from these harmful UV rays? Like, yes, I'm going to put sunscreen on my arm and I'm going to put rosin where I'm at. Trevor Bauer, and he's been at the forefront of this for a while. In 2018, he said, yeah, I touch my arm. It's sunscreen mixed with rosin. Someone asked him, is that allowed? He said, both are legal substances. The combination of the two is technically illegal. Gray area for sure, but he's admitting to it on Twitter in the act saying, yeah, I do it and no one cares. And I mean, that's why you have these funny clips of Lance Lynn bathing himself in rosin, just rubbing it all over his body. No one has cared about that for the longest time. And no one will care about that as long as we go. They care about the new shit these pitchers are doing. There are people that are effectively and not even trying to hide essentially flipping the bird at the league with how they're cheating in this game with concocted substances. If you have this substance that isn't 
pine tar or sunscreen rosin or whatever it is, and you're actively going to that, so you can turn your 2,500 slider into a 29 or 3,000 slider for that one pitch, that is cheating. In that report, they talk about having baseballs come out where there's like literally like strings of glue coming off the ball. And that's not okay because that's cheating. So there you have a manager on record saying it's cheating. You have two active pitchers saying it's cheating. We had an article come out, JT Real Muto, a catcher in the league. He basically said, we got to crack down on this stuff. It's not fair. You see pitchers out there all game long doing this, touching their mitt. They're not doing anything about it. If they crack down, it would help. He says he sees it all the time. Josh Donaldson was tweeting with Dallas Brady. He said, stop cheating. So now you got another player saying that this is cheating. Dallas Braden says, we both know the difference between pine tar, rosin, and what the new stuff is. Donaldson says, I agree. I have an entire catalog of videos of these guys cheating. It's coming out. So JD, can't wait to see that. We had a bunch of other people on record saying that when you watch these guys from the dugout, you can almost hear the ball ripping out of their gloves because they're gluing their fingers to the glove. Adam Duvall said it's pretty frustrating picking up a foul ball and seeing it covered in sticky stuff. So you just got more and more players coming out on the record stating their displeasure and calling it cheating. But you know who was doing this two years ago and no one was listening to? Trevor Bauer. In 2014, he tweeted out asking for help. Hey, anyone else that likes science, how do I increase my spin rate on pitches? He already had figured out that spin rate is what makes a pitch effective. He just wanted to figure out how to increase it. And then he went to the lab and he cracked the code. In 2019, he said foreign substance has been shown to increase spin rate up to 500 RPM. That's revolutions per minute. 2600 spin rate is is really good. 3000 is like top, crazy top tier. He said, Bauer said the evidence is undeniable. Followed that up. He said, if only there was a quick way to increase spin rate. Like, what if you could trade for a player knowing that you could bump his spin rate up a couple RPM overnight? Imagine the steals. He said, it's not fair. I would just like to play the game on a fair playing field. And it is far from that right now. Easy solution is just legalize sticky sticky substances so everyone can complete fairly. So way back, Bauer was the one advocating for making this illegal or legal or MLB just saying something about it and no one did anything. Bauer even was giving out the formulas. He said pine tar, firm grip, Coca-Cola boiled, melted together in a metal Coke can, maybe some rosin, just a guess. He even went on record and said that Brent Strom taught him to use Pelican bat wax on his glove in the strings and in the fingers to get a better grip on the ball back when he was 14. Brent Strom's the pitching coach for the Astros. No one cared. In 2018, Trevor Bauer tweeted that he knew for a fact his fastball could get 3,000 RPM if he were using sticky stuff. At the time he tweeted that, he had zero MLB fastballs at 3,000 RPM or higher. He had thrown 18,000 over seven seasons, zero 3,000 RPM or higher. He even tweeted out a great plan. He said that it's very clear that sticky stuff increases spin rate and increased spin rate equals more effective pitches, more effective pitches equals greater chance for success and future compensation. So Bauer was the first person to be screaming this, saying it's unfair, realizing, I guess they don't care, but now everyone seems to care a lot because it's just gotten out of hand. What MLB did before this season is they said they were gonna collect balls and look at StatCast data to try and crack down on the illegal foreign substances being used by pitchers. And then they just made it about Bauer. They said Bauer's investigated by MLB for using foreign substances on multiple balls. Per the report, the balls had visible markings and were sticky. The one dude who was trying his hardest to tell you, you gotta take control of this or it's going to become a problem they now name the main person which is all bullshit because they actually went to each clubhouse and told the players we're collecting data but don't worry we're not going to do anything about it this year we just want to figure out what's being used and how much it's helping as mlb is just collecting baseballs to do a study like they're not doing anything with them no one's under investigation or no one's like just these these gossip bloggers just out here writing stuff to try to throw water on my name or whatever. I don't know. 
just personal vendettas, I guess. And the manager of the A's, Bob Melvin, backed that up. He said this year they're looking at baseballs to kind of take stock on maybe doing something uniform down the road as far as what substance could be used. That's what Bob Melvin said. And every pitcher that's doing this is being as obvious as obvious can be. No one cares. MLB has basically given them the free year saying they're not going to get anyone in trouble. The collective bargaining agreement is coming up next year. My guess is MLB is doing a study, seeing how much this works. As they negotiate the CBA this offseason, maybe they try to implement a new rule or a standard substance or something. But it seems the rest of this season, pitchers have free reign. And the more free reign they have, the more we're going to have batters, other pitchers who aren't doing this, and managers complain about it because, yeah, pitchers are, are, are just using, they're super gluing their fingers to the ball. It, it's very much like a corked bat. Oh, I had a bad inning. I need to get more glue on my fingers. Oh, I, I didn't hit that ball far. Oh, I'll just go use the bat that I made illegally.